hello guys uh, what I have here is uh, my 2013 Toyota Sienna and today I'm gonna be doing the spark plugs replacement so it's been a uh, almost 11 years uh, on this van and it has uh, 191,438 kilometers and uh, yeah the uh, maintenance schedule uh, recommended to replace the spark plugs at 192,000 kilometers so I'm almost up to it so I'm gonna be bringing the van into the garage and let's get, get it started so I have this table set up for the parts and have the park tray so I'm gonna lay some of the parts in here so I won't lose it and over here I got this uh, little blank blanket to protect my bumper so now I'm gonna remove the wipers and the cow louver then after that the engine cover and the cow so I'm gonna be using this uh, flathead screwdriver I'm gonna pop out this cap Set the camera somewhere. Maybe here. One, two, I need a fourteen mil socket. Nuts. Then it just bang on this joint right here to loosen the wiper. Same over here. And just push down on it and pull it out. That's one. That's two. That on the table and now I need to remove these uh, seal by pulling it up and just leave it like that same as the other side yeah now just lift the cow up there's some locking tab at the bottom here so could I push in and up all along that way you don't break the tab you need it for the installation yeah. Leave the camera down here. One there, one here, there. Well, undo the tap while lifting up the cow. So I got it up now. And I pull it away from the windshield to the front toward me and up and out all right so now I need to undo this connector for the the windshield deicer and this connector for the wiper motor by pressing down on the locking tab and pull out the connector same over here all right and uh, I'm gonna remove the wiper motor with these two bolts 10 mil 10 millimeter bolt So I 
lastly three bolts so one here one here and one over there under this uh, seal Now I should be able to pull out the motor. So there's a grommet, rubber grommet over here. So you need to slide to the right. Yeah, and out. So let's do the bolts first. Two, three, four. Ah, uh, that one goes across thread. Five. Okay, now I also need to remove this uh, module block. So I'm going to remove this nut and drop that the uh, module. So it's free from the cow pain. Another 10 mil. Nuts. All right. I'll let it sit down here for now. All right, so these nuts are kind of tight, so to use the ratchet. I had to crack it open first before I use a power. That's one. So this one. Yeah, same thing. Crack it open first. Two. So you have to remember these nuts are for the cow pan. These nuts are for the wipers. I put together with the wiper caps. So I'll do the same for this side. Don't want it to drop down the side. All right, so the cow pants should be ready, free to remove. Okay, again, just gotta be careful not to hit the uh, windshield. Ho, 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 ho. Well, I gotta leave this engine cover to do last because these three spark plugs at the front would be easy to do, straightforward. But the rear ones would be the trouble. So now I'm gonna try to undo these wire harness clips to uh, lift up this one to set it on top here so i have more clearance to go behind and there's a one shush tank stay behind here that'll be sitting right on top the uh, ignition coil i have to remove that in order to remove the uh, the coil so all right so you see the orientation of the clip so you need to depress those and pull it out. Or you can yank it out if you like, but I clip my brick. So I'm gonna maybe one more over here too. So I can tuck it on top here. So then I have more clearance. Yeah. 
Yeah, so all the clips got the same orientation, top and bottom. All right, so just tuck it up there for now. So now I have more clearance back there. All right, so we need the 12 mil socket to remove that stay bolt. 12 mil saw a short socket. Oh my back. Bottom one out. All right, so that's one. Now one on the top by the shirt's tank. There's a wire harness in the way. Just push it up. Yeah. Push up on a wire harness. Then should have enough clearing. For that bolt. There. Now I need a longer socket. A deeper socket. I gotta hold on to the bracket. Otherwise, it will fall down. Okay. You gotta stay out to 12 mil 12 millimeter bolt so set over here okay now we start with the first coil and spark plugs i'll show you the spark plugs so these are my genuine Toyota spark plugs that i got from my local toyota dealer and the part number is fk uh, 20 HR11 uh, Denso brand, I believe it's a Toyota, but made by Denso. See, Toyota, but made by Denso. You don't have to get from the dealer, but you can find this part number, Denso part number, online somewhere. That's why it's the right part number. But uh, sometime online sale may be more expensive than. Toyota dealer, so I got from my Toyota dealer. Uh, 23 bucks bus tax, so it's not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna start do, doing the first coil, first spark plugs now. So I need a uh, 10 mil socket. To remove that ignition coil, the first ignition coil. All right. All right. 
first boat. Let's set over here. Pull out the coil with the undo the connector. All right, so you don't be surprised. It's been 11 years, so I'm gonna have to use two hands. Okay, don't need to undo the connector. Just pull the ignition coil right out. Let's see if I can turn the camera upside down for you to see it. All right. Yep. Yep, just pull it out like that. Leave the connector intact. Okay. Now I need the spark plug socket to get in there. All right. So it's a 5.8. So using 5.8 spark plug socket with a 6 inch extension. All right. My ratchet. Tight. All right, I'm gonna leave the camera down. I'm gonna do it with my two hands. Yes, she's out. First one. Put on my socket first. Voila. All right, so this is the old spark plugs. A little bit of wet, eh? It's after almost 11 years. Okay, so this is a new spark plug. Uh, have a little bit of uh, anti seize in there. Oh. Should be good for the next 10 years. So, again, going behind the AC tube. Where's the opening? There's the opening. All right, so I got the spark plugs installed, ignition coil installed, and the stay. I uh, went back in as the reverse of the removal. Uh, the torque for the spark plugs is uh, 18 Newton meter. The uh, ignition coil bolt is uh, 10 Newton meter, and the um, Stay 21 Newton meter if you guys want to talk them to the spec, but all right, so but uh, just FYI. So, next, I'm gonna do the next two behind there again by fuel and uh, uh, see how it goes. Alright, 
key points so you kind of have to put your arm along this side in behind the search tank to work along those spark plugs and just be careful don't knock this one off otherwise it's gonna be expensive to replace this whole search tank and uh, there's a wire harness on the last spark plugs here you kind of have to undo the clip uh, and pull out the wire harness so out of the way on this last uh, coil All right, this should be All right, so there's a wire harness clip behind here. I don't know if you can see through the camera where my fingers are. So I should press on this tab, push out, and lift up this wire harness. So I just set it back in right now. So this is the one, so it's in a way for this ignition coil here. So, all right, so I got all three behind there done now. Now I do the front. So I lift up this engine cover. So one, two, three, 10 mil bolt. And again, I don't think I need to remove these uh, connections. Yeah, same idea like the rear. Just put it right up and out of the way, All right? So. so use this 10 inch instead of the six inch. So I got all the spark plugs completely replaced. So for this, another key point here, for this particular uh, plug here, the middle one here, uh, there's not much slack here. So I could have uh, stretched uh, the wire a little bit to pull it out, but uh, I would suggest to uh, undo this connector by pull, push, uh, pressing on the locking tab here and pull out the connector and to replace it and make it easier all right so 
I'm going to do a little bit of uh, cleaning up this area here and uh, put everything back together. Just the reverse of the removal. And to put back the uh, wipers, uh, so see some dots over here. So just line up your wiper in uh, between these three dots. The big dot is the target. So same thing as the, uh, the right side wiper. There's a dot over here too. Just that's where you, you need to line up your wiper at. Okay. So you don't have to mark with a masking tape or whatever. There's dot here of the alignment. Or this one, or this one, or this one. Three variation. So I will go with the middle one. Okay. So that's it. How I, this is how I replace the spark plugs without removing this uh, search tank. Uh, a lot of more work and a lot of potential for uh, damaged part and forget to install part to see how a lot of components to remove if you have to remove this one so I'll save us a little bit of work there all right just in time it's raining now just in time I just finished putting back everything together so See what I meant? So the wiper alignment is a dot on the windshield right here. That's how you line up your wiper. Same on this side. There's two dots. So the wiper should be in between those two dots. Oh, let's start up the engine. See how it goes. Alright, power up. Voila. We're gonna take for a drive later. All right, guys. So that is how I replaced my uh, 2013 Toyota Sienna Limited Edition V6 uh, spark plugs without removing the first tank. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. See you next time.